Okay, another clock. This time it's a chess clock. Hmm, so ten minutes between the two of them. Hmm, so I've got to figure that out. Ten minutes. I suppose I just have to get them to fifteen minutes each. So I can take. I can just click whenever I feel like it. Just get them to ten minutes each. I'd like a little chess clock, although I don't play many board games. When you do play board games, it would be good to have a little chess clock to give you reason to move quick. Otherwise, you could take forever sitting there thinking. Maybe I'll get a chess clock. No, I can use it for other games. Like Go. Haven't played Go in a little bit. Still a novice. Shogi, I haven't played Shogi. Still a novice, although I'm probably I'd probably be better at Shogi than Go. As I've watched more videos of Shogi. Hidechi's videos. Hidech. Famous shogi games and how to play shogi. So I know more about that than go. Chess, I'm not that good at chess. I did watch some chess videos for a while. J. Roby and. Uh, some grandmaster whose name I don't know. And I've done the odd chess puzzle. The daily one, I can't remember the name of it. It's something. Uh, the only thing I learned about chess, or one of the only things, I, I learned the odd thing like the I can't remember the name of it. it. Begins with a P, possibly. The thing with the pawn, where you can't do the two move if there's a. Pawn. Well, you can do the two move, but the pawn's able to take it even if you move it past it. Plus the castling. Castling the petty something, the pawn move, and I think there's another special move which I've forgotten. I think there's three special moves. But, uh, the castling, the pawn move, and maybe that's it, but I think there's another one. The sh difference between shogi and chess. I suppose they're sort of similar. The castling is to protect your king. In shogi, the beginning part is trying to set up your pieces to attack the king and to try and set up a castle for your king so protect your king and attack their king or whatever shogi you pick up the pieces and you can reuse them chess you can't on the on the online games of chess, if you get a pawn to the end, you can turn it into any piece. Turn it into a queen. But if you're playing on a standard chess set, you're not going to have eight queens, or more than one queen, so... Plus, you might not have had your queen taken, so you get to the end, what are you going to do? You can't really make it a queen unless you've got an extra set of pieces to make it into a queen, so... You have to just make it into whatever pieces of your opponent you've taken, or whatever pieces you lost, I suppose, yeah, whatever pieces you've lost. You can't use your opponent's pieces because they're the different colour than yours. I'm not 
paying too much attention to the chess clock. Backgammon is another game I've watched the odd videos of. Although there's not that many videos. The only good videos I've found are uh, some Chinese chess, that Chinese backgammon game, I can't remember, Nippo, no, Sapporo, Sapporo thing, it's got a nice camera angle on it, so I've watched those. And since I'm learning Japanese, if I do learn Japanese, I will learn it. So I've determined once I've got the written version. I'm not really interested in speaking it. Uh, in the order I want to learn it, we'll say number one is reading it. Read it, being able to... Nah. I suppose listening, being able to understand it is number one. Reading and write, Reading and listening. Number two would be writing it, and then number three would be speaking it. That's the order of what I'd like to learn Japanese. Being able to understand it first, both in reading and hearing it, and then second, writing it, being able to write it, and then third, speaking it. Yeah, if I can learn to hear it and I'll be able to watch the Japanese shogi videos of them playing it. I suppose that's a good way, reason to learn a language, you can learn things in that language. Things you wouldn't be able to learn in English. Or whatever language. Yes, Japanese is not too bad a language to pick since they're the ones with all the stuff well, stuff I'd be interested in like games and manga and anami and shogi and and they're weird I suppose weirdish they're weird game shows like that I can't remember the name of it, but the, the game show where those ones, there's, there's some bald-headed one, there's some other ones, they lock themselves, they slap each other, they, uh, they get punished for doing things, or not doing things, for laughing. Yeah, that show, that looks okay. I've watched a little bit with subtitles. So, shows like that. the reading part for the Game Boy games like Pokemon and Hitaro No Go and the Shogi games or whatever that's where the reading will come in handy well for the non speaking I suppose the older type of games like the Mega Drive and the and the Game Boy and things like that but the speaking would be for the later PS1, PS2 and all that games. So being able to read and hear it is the best thing. I suppose if I can hear it and I can read it, then I can write it and I can speak it. Not really, it's sort of difficult to speak it. Well, not too hard. But it would be easier. If I... If I can hear it, then speaking it would be easier, but I think it would be more difficult than hearing it. But yeah, just the hearing and the right reading is what I'm interested in. The writing part is the only part I'm really interested in. Being able to write things. I suppose it would be. And then I could mix it together, both English and Japanese. Like the characters that are quicker to write than the actual letters. And I could write really quickly, mixing it together. Or the English ones that are quicker than the Japanese. Ah, 60. Ready? Quick, quick. Go! Oh, fucked it up. And now we've got to get the 51 point whatever. Anyway, let's see. We're going now. Yeah, that 10 minutes was quick. Okay, bye.